Oh, we are only a few more weeks from Christmas and then, of course, New Year's. And the holidays usually are filled with good times with your friends mm -hmm. and your family. But there are also some health dangers that come along with them. Yeah, it turns out that heart attacks and strokes can actually increase during the holiday season. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us live from Doctors Regional Hospital with a look at how you can stay healthier this December. Roland? Hey, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. We are live here at the cath lab at Doctors Regional, and joining us early this morning is cardiologist, Mr. Do excuse me, Dr. Thomas Alexander. How are you doing this morning, sir? Very good. How yeah. about you? I'm doing pretty good. You know, this is the time of the year, you know, we may eat a little bit too much, drink a little bit too much, but believe it or not, besides wrecking our diet, this can cause some serious health issues. Absolutely. The, the, there's a peak of heart attacks around Christmas time, the week before and a week after. But interestingly, the most heart attacks happen on December 25th. December 26th is the second most uh, heart attacks per day and, the, and January 1st. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, how did this all start? I know there was a study that started back in 2004. The 2004 study exa uh, examined 50,000 deaths and found out this peak during these, these specific days. So it's just not the winter months. Clearly there is more heart attacks because of the cold weather, but it's more than that. There may be stress, maybe the food, maybe the alcohol. We're not exactly sure, but clearly there are more heart attacks and more deaths from heart attacks during these days. Okay, now we have holiday heart attacks, but what's the difference between holiday heart attacks and holiday, I guess, uh, heart attack, holiday Sy heart attack syndrome? So holiday heart attacks is when you have a blockage causing uh, actual muscle damage. There's something called holiday heart syndrome from excessive alcohol intake. That's atrial fibrillation. We see that often. That's usually not life-threatening, but a holiday heart attack is. People tend to delay uh, uh, realizing they're having a heart attack, and they come to the hospital delayed. So it's very important if you have symptoms suggestive of a heart attack, call 911, and we'll be there to take care of you. Now, what are some of those symptoms that someone should be looking out for? Uh, so the typical symptoms is an elephant sitting on your chest, associated with pain in your arms or jaws, but women, elderly, diabetics may have atypical symptoms. So if you have severe shortness of breath, severe nausea, very associated with you feeling light tenderness, please call 911. I, yeah. We don't recommend you uh, coming by car, but just calling 911. Advice going into this holiday season for those, you know, who may be borderline high blood pressure or, or already have some pre-existing heart conditions. So uh, be careful of the diet. The average person gains about five pounds during the holiday season, so eat smart. Also avoid stress. There are ways where you can you know, create, create uh, realistic expectations as far as what you can do, and also avoid salt. Yeah. This is something that we have to take serious, am I right? Absolutely. We, there's a big peak and heart attack hills. Dr. Alexander, thank you so much for the insight. Really appreciate your time. Of course, you want more information on the holiday heart attacks or holiday heart attack syndrome, visit our website at krstv.com. Reporting live from the cath lab here at Doctors Regional Hospital, Roland Rodriguez, Chris, 6 News.